It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. Crime incidents in Western Visayas plummeted by 19.37% in eight months. This is according to data by the Police Regional Office 6 between January and August this year. The PRO listed 11,641 crimes, significantly lower compared to the 14,438 incidents recorded in the same period last year. Moreover, the number of incidents for the eight focus crimes also declined. These include murder, homicide, robbery, rape, physical injury, theft, car napping, and motor napping. According to PRO 6 spokesperson Police Lieutenant Colonel Arnold Solis, the decrease can be attributed to the enhanced managing police operations conducted on a regular basis. The EMPO checks and analyzes the eight focus crimes to find possible solutions and deploy police patrollers in crowded or crime-prone areas. Other reasons include the deployment of personnel during peak hours and close coordination with local government units. The Iloilo provincial government has begun hiring medical workers such as nurses and doctors. This is to properly manage COVID-19 patients from the province being brought to hospitals in Iloilo City. Governor Arthur Defensor Jr. confirmed the capital was hiring 30 nurses for the Western Visayas Medical Center in Manduriao, Iloilo City. However, since the Department of Health and Region 6 has already started augmenting hospital personnel, Defensor is looking at the possibility of deploying these nurses to other city hospitals. Defensor also plans to hire an undetermined number of doctors. The provincial government also hired 32 nurses, nurses attendants and technicians two months ago to augment the WBMC. Defensor added that the Iliilo Provincial Hospital and the 12 district hospitals are also hiring nurses and doctors. Negros Occidental is tightening its watch on inbound travelers after they discovered websites offering fake RT-PCR test results. The provincial incident management team found these tests complete with a functioning QR code and even fabricated data. However, Dr. Zephard Kaelian, head of the PIMT, said they still have ways of knowing whether the RT-PCR tests being submitted are fake. The province has caught several people with either fake test results or travel documents. Submitting fake RT-PCR test results is a violation of Republic Act 11332 on the Mandatory Reporting of Notifiable Diseases and Health Events of Public Health Concern Act. And those are tonight's latest headlines. This is your anchor, Elisha Lusaya Pumida. Good evening. For more stories, check our website, www.panaynews.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Grab the digital copy of Panay News on Press Reader. Read Panay News via the Inquirer Plus app and avail a free 30-day trial. Join Panay News community on Viber. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing. 